Hello, before we get into this great piece of content, I just have a quick announcement. I'm doing my own show in Toronto on August 15th. Uh, Dean's going to be there. My buddy Jacob's going to be there. It's going to be an awesome show. Uh, Tickets are available right now. So if you want to go see me in Toronto, do some stand-up, it's going to be a great show. Um, Fucking come hang out, come laugh, and it's going to be a great time. All right, now let's get into the video. Dean! (laughs) Dean! Do you, do you want to, Dean, do you want to make, uh, give me one second. What's up? Huh? Dean, do you want to make an internet's cringiest dating show three? Do I? Uh, who are you? I'm, I'm Curtis. Curtis? We've, yeah, we've been friends for like five years. Oh, Curtis. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I don't want to, what do I want to fucking make? You know, the internet's cringiest dating show. You know, we made like two of them already on my channel. Yeah, and then you got like. What, got what? And you got like got super rich. I wasn't gonna say and famous. That. I wasn't gonna say, I wasn't gonna say either of those words. But what were you gonna say? I was gonna say how you got really cocky after you got some Instagram followers. Some. The guy says some. Yeah. Okay. Pitch it to me. What do you got? Well, I mean, like, I'm sure if you do this episode, you'll probably, you know, get some more followers on Instagram. Okay, nice. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's very good to see you again. See what happens when you subscribe to my channel. You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single video. (laughs) (laughs) So press the subscribe button for an extra greeting. Folks! We're back, baby. Yeah, baby. Baby. Baby, baby, baby. 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 Little babies out there. Little baby. <laughs> so we're back with fucking part three, I guess. Uh-huh. Uh, the internet's cringiest dating show. And the third one's usually the best. You know Spider-Man 3? You know Back to the Future 3? The best ones. <laughs> um, this one's a little different. This one, they switched it up, dude. So it's called, I let my <clears throat> ex pick my boyfriend. So ex picks bae. Oh. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you ever let your ex-girlfriend do that? No. Me neither. No. No. <laughs> fucking way <laughs> yeah my no offense to her but nope that's all all offense to mine <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> all the love to 17 thanks for thanks for making these they're a lot of fun and uh you've given us some great content yeah man uh to laugh at i'm bev and i'm 18 and this is my ex-boyfriend sam hi i'm sam and i'm 19 today um sam's gonna find me my next my next the next love of my life yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> well, when Bev asked me to do this, I was uh, actually pretty stoked. I'm actually pretty stoked. I like, haven't talked to her in like years, and I like miss her a lot. And I'm kind of hoping I can use this as a way to get back with it. Yeah. Bev likes to say that she's really like easygoing. <laughs> Bev she likes, likes to this. think she's really easygoing. <laughs> hey Dude. man, she's right there. I don't want someone whose ideal date is like rock climbing. Like that's not my thing. Imagine if every single guy says rock climbing. Rock, I like. I think <laughs> the first ideal first date would be rock climbing. I want to wear a harness right here. Yeah, I was actually gonna say the same thing as this guy. I think rock climbing would be. We're actually in an all male acapella rock climbing group. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. We have the same taste in people. Yeah. So like if if Sam walks into a room and sees someone that he thinks that he won't like, I probably won't like them that much either. What's the necklace budget on this fucking one? There you go, yeah, really. (laughs) Jesus Christ, you're bedazzled, huh? Your back (laughs) must hurt from a fucking bling, bro. (laughs) It's only coming out. (laughs) I smell boys. There's lots of them. Hey, I'm Anthony, I'm 22, and I'm the guitarist of an alternative rock band. Hi, my name is Trey, I'm 20 years old, and I've never lost a game of (laughs) tic-tac-toe. Hey, I'm Steven, 21, and I'm an actor, and I love amusement parks. I like Steven. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing like a big zipper on your fucking (laughs) shirt. (laughs) I'm Carlo, I'm 19, and I have hoodies waiting to be stolen. Ah. Hi, I have- Dude, yeah, literally, it's like he saw like one tweet being like, oh. I love when I wear my boyfriend's hoodie, and he's like, I have hoodies. I have those. Hey, I'm Brian, and um, I'm 20. 
the fuck's up with this guy? I'm 20. Okay, are you I'm 40? 20. I don't know. Uh, I'm 20. I'm happy to be here. I'm not gonna murder all of you. I uh, don't have a social security number. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off the grid. What's up? And, uh, yeah, music makes me cry, like... <laughs> okay. What the fuck is this guy's deal? I'm voting. I'm gunning for Brian, man. Brian's a beauty. Brian, um, <laughs> you are out to lunch, my guy. Uh, what's up? I'm Kenji. I'm 19, and I'm a photographer. My name is Aaron. I'm 20, and I am colorblind. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tess. I'm 18 years old. And full fact about me is I'll go wherever LeBron goes. Sad. Did he say he goes wherever LeBron goes? Yes, that's what he said. What does that mean? LeBron switches NBA teams a lot. And maybe this, uh, and I feel like this was made before he went to the Lakers. I don't know, man. I don't get it. What I have so far from these guys is I don't like any of them, really. Brian is entertaining. Brian, I can't <laughs> wait to hear him talk again, but like... Yeah. Exactly. It's good to be a good guy. Put that on my tombstone, man. <laughs> it's good, good to, to be, be a good, good guy. guy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think I'd be fucking crying at this episode, wow. but here we are. It's good to be a good guy. So what I want to know is, how did your last relationship end? And what's one thing your ex would say about you? You're coming out with that question? <laughs> Dude, this question is the worst question that this show has ever come up with. Yeah, because we said in the last episode, it's just lies, right? It is. Yeah. It's just lies. Uh, something that my ex would say about me. It's like a huge uh, dick. <laughs> <laughs> is that it's, my dick's like this big. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a lot of cash. I have a, I got so much fucking money and my dick fat. My last ex would probably say that I'm a drippy. I got the drip. <laughs> That's what she would say. All right, that guy's a beauty. Right. That's the best way to respond yeah. to that. All right. Yeah, wow. Wow. I got the drip. I got a the lot. drip. I have a leaky ass. <laughs> <laughs> One thing my ex would say about me is like, I'm like really confusing. You're telling me. <laughs> yeah, dude. I can't get a read on you at all. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words from this guy. I've never seen a human being like this. Like, I'm honest, but I'd be lying. But I'm honest most of the time, but I'd be lying. So it's like, you know, yeah. We can't do these videos anymore. <laughs> the, I don't like him. <laughs> what she would say about me is that I'm like also a liar. What are you saying? Let's read this. Okay, 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 okay. How did your last breakup go? And what in the, the transcript, what they got from him was, <laughs> my ex says I'm confusing. I'm honest, but I lie. But I'm honest. I'm alive, but I'm dead. But I'm dead. But I'd be alive. But I'd be out here, but I'm deceased. I'd be lying. I'm a lion. I'm a lion. I made this decision because I think the dude's a little corny. Um, and I don't think him and Bev would vibe really well, to be honest. Um, it's not going to work, man. I'm sorry, Brian, but you got to go. Duh. Yeah, duh. But, dude. like, remember that point I made last video? You're canceled. Why do you get the black guys off the show so fucking early? Right? That doesn't apply right now because he's a psycho. <laughs> yeah. Because he's gotta go. We gotta see, because like I know, look at his body. I don't know how he's about to leave. I'm excited to see it, but I bet there's a security guard right there waiting to escort him Dude, out of the He just levitates out of there. Dude, look at all the friends. Got the drip. Good guy. Sweet. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> Did he know those guys? I don't know. Yeah, it was pretty saddening, but um, you know what? Just gotta do better next time. I bet he said way more, and they just edited it to that. Yeah. Somewhere on a on hard drive at seventeen, there's like there's like three hours of yeah. Talking. Oh, dude, someone was like, we gotta make a Brian mixtape. <laughs> that guy's fucking gold. All right, let me hear a little bit about this, man. What, what kind of kisser are you? Only one way to find out. Only he has to make out with all of them. Yo, you know what? I'm just gonna come right up there and fucking and fucking make you. Know. <laughs> I'd say gentle. I'm not. Into like the whole like smushing faces kind of thing. How hey, do you answer? If this? you if okay, actually, yeah. What kind of kisser are you? For real, try your best to answer that question with just me in this room right now. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I don't know. I do it. You just kiss. Yeah, you, <laughs> I don't really know what I would say. Word. <laughs> it's soft, subtle, and to the point. Yeah. 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 I love you, the car, Grandma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It comes to kissing, I'm very um slow and gentle. And then I like to be like strong and passionate. Yeah. That's like almost my haircut. Dude, he looks like Joe Pesci. <laughs> <laughs> Get the kid. Ew, how do you like it, huh? You jerk. Get the kid. Yes, uh, I just kind of go with the flow. Uh, I kind of follow the other person's lead. I'm known to do like a little lip bite, but that's it. 
Also, yeah. like, if I'm gonna just break it down for a second, nicest lips out of all the guys. Yeah, wow. hundred percent. This guy's got killer lips. Yeah, anyway. you're fucking hot, man. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Good job. You're yeah. literally a ten. So <laughs> let's go. I'm actually saving my first kiss for marriage. Yeah, dude. Why? <laughs> I haven't kissed Bev in so long. Are you telling me that kissing me is not memorable to you? This honestly, this whole thing is just—he's getting cucked, right? Yep. <laughs> getting cuck. He's getting cuck. Bestie picks cuck. Bestie Here we go. cucks bay. <laughs> X picks cuck. I don't really have an explanation for this one. It just, it just didn't really sit right. So I'm sorry, man. But Steven, you're out of here. <laughs> That's oh, my guy. God, I miss you, Steven. Picture this crazy scenario. You're at the beach, right? Seagulls all over the place coming in. They're coming in. They're stealing Bev's French fries, right? They're knocking over Bev's ice cream. What are three things you guys are prepared to do to protect Bev? I, that's the one thing you learn about when you get a girlfriend. It's how to protect them from seagulls. Get ready. And also, seagulls is a metaphor for all those other fucking dudes that are trying to get her. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They're trying to get her away from you, and you gotta prove that you're the best seagull out there mm -hmm. for her. Jason Seagull? <laughs> <laughs> I'm prepared to buy her more food, number one. Number two, I'm making sure they don't hurt her. And number three, I'm gonna give her my sweater. <laughs> I also have seagull size hoodies, I'm gonna put on the seagulls. Yeah. <laughs> and, they and they can't fly like that. Well, you know, dude, like seagull hoodies, you know? If I saw a <laughs> flock of seagulls, the band, wearing a fucking a bunch of champion hoodies, I would freak out. The first thing I would do is probably, uh, probably run away. Literally, if I were there, I'd be like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> you Are you it. still in the picture or not? <laughs> or, or not. not. And, uh, the last thing. Hmm. I mean, this fucking ex-boyfriend is. What do you got for me? Yeah, huh? I know everything about Bev. I know her since I was thirteen. I know how she deals with seagulls. You don't. You haven't been in this situation. You've before. never seen her with seagulls, have you? You don't know shit <laughs> about the beach. We got three options. I think number one, like you said, obviously, get the food, throw it, distraction, get out of there, extraction. What do you know? You never kissed a girl. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think it's just the lack of enthusiasm or maybe just the fact that you kind of look like you don't want to be here, but it's time to go. Right. <laughs> Have a good one. Looks like you got to keep your hoodies, Carlo. Sorry. <laughs> His next Dude. question is like, so is this all seagull related afterwards? So I don't know if you guys have caught on, but I really I love think seagulls, seagulls are cool. And like, I don't know, man. I'm actually a seagull. I'm actually four seagulls I'm in a human's seagull body. On <laughs> seagulls on seagull. each other's shoulders. This is very important. Are all of you guys organ donors? <laughs> and if so, do you really- What? And if so, do you really, really plan on donating your organs? So what I'm getting at here is Bev really needs an organ. I guess so, yeah. This is just an elaborate ruse for her to get an organ. A ruse. A ruse. <laughs> also a ruse. <laughs> Curtis, you always keep me on my toes, buddy. <laughs> Continue video. On on my ID, I am not an organ donor, but... Why is... Chill. Why is this a so... Wait, <laughs> I can't even begin... To try to understand why is this so important in a relationship. Or like organ boner, right? <laughs> <laughs> I am an organ donor, and yes, I don't see any point in not donating if you're already dead. Also, why wouldn't you want to kiss a girl? Maybe you'll kiss someone when you're dead. <laughs> Cut that part out. Yeah. Yeah. Hope they got smooches in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> now, why'd you go kiss God? <laughs> Once I die, I can start donating my don't, but I mean my stuff until I die. I won't. Hey, huh? What the? F he has said he, he has to wait till he's dead to donate his. Yeah, we man. know, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing on my license, so I'm not a donor. Nothing, on, just blank. There's no address. He just no has a name. plastic rectangle card, and there's just nothing, <laughs> nothing on, on it. it. <laughs> license and registration. License. What's that? That's my license. It doesn't have anything on it. Yeah, there's nothing on my license. You're free to go. Bev would definitely prefer an organ donor, man. <laughs> like, that's important. There's a lot of people here tonight that aren't organ donors, but I'm hearing a lot of people willing to change that. And so I'm gonna have to go with you, Kenji, because you were in a rush. And you can't rush love. I know. Dude, how do you not hear, just the name, hearing the name Kenji, dude? How do you not pick a guy named Kenji? The fact that he's her ex was like kind of awkward at first. I was like, eesh. Oy. I'm not saying it will, but if the opportunity does arise, 
What are your thoughts on having to shave Bev's back? Stop! <laughs> no. Bro, how is this? How? 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 I not hey, like? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> how is this guy not like? Bro, are you fucking serious? Can I get like a real question? Yeah. What are you talking? Ah, uh -huh, cute. We get it. You used to date. Is yeah. this for real? Or is this are you like an inside joke you guys have? Like, I'm not in on. Oh, it. that's cute, guys. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. If you want to shave back. Why wouldn't I want to help? You gotta kiss a girl before you shave a <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, yeah. what would Brian's answer to this be? I like, uh, I, I, yeah. It would make him short circuit. Yeah, he would fly, I, the, I, he would I, fly I, the fuck to Venus. <laughs> Whatever B wants. I'll say that. So the massage is a good thing. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I think you're a little bit too soft-spoken. I felt bad at first because I didn't really look at it that way. I was soft-spoken. I thought I was just answering the questions, but... That was oh, really man. sad, and yeah, he's geez. a good guy. He's just wicked quiet. Picture this. You're in a park. It doesn't matter what park, but there's tall trees, and Bev gets stuck. <laughs> Hold on. Trees. Is Bev's full name Beverage? I hope. All right. In the tree. Not the short tree, the tall one. Okay, so what are you going to do? Yeah, I don't know how these would determine who's a good boyfriend. This is... You call 911. Natural instinct to just save someone who you're with. That's all. Yeah. So Bev breaks up with you and a year later asks you to be on this show called <laughs> Best You Picks Bay. What do you do? <laughs> if she's stuck in a tall tree, me personally, I love climbing trees and my friend is an electrician. He's always with me. Your buddy who's an electrician is always <laughs> with you. <laughs> He's like behind him the whole time right now. Oh, hey, what's I'm right up? here just in case like a wire falls. They're like Siamese twins. <laughs> Didn't see him. He's actually right here. Hey, I'm the electrician. <laughs> Even though that has nothing to do with wires and shit. Because you know how trees have electricity Because you know trees. Plug it in. <laughs> Beth is in a tree. You have three options. Okay. First, I'm getting a trampoline. Mm -hmm. She can jump off. Okay. Into the trampoline. Okay. That would be fun. It would be. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> the second option, I'm assuming that this is like a fairy tale because Life is a fairy tale. How would you get better out of a tree? Well, life is a fairy tale. Huh? <laughs> what? What are you talking Hey man, if we wanted Brian back, we'd get <laughs> Brian back. But you gotta be a person here. This is Earth. I think the only rational thing to do in that sort of situation would be... Just kiss a girl. <laughs> <laughs> man, I hate to do this because I really love your, your enthusiasm, bro. But I'm pretty sure you've been calling her Beth the whole time. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> and her name's Bev. <laughs> so... I'm sorry. Fuck me. Wait, he's been saying her, her name wrong this entire time? Uh, That's something only an ex-boyfriend who's still in love would notice. Yeah, you're calling <laughs> her the wrong name, bro. Her name's Bev. In 30 seconds or less. In the movie 30 seconds or less, who, <laughs> who played... Man, who cares? I don't even want to finish a joke. I don't give a fuck. This oh, fucking man. I know, I know you're That really, was going to be a really good one. That was going to be a heater, <laughs> trust me. What the fuck am I even saying? My references are garbage today. <laughs> I need you guys to tell me why I should choose you. It's down to these two, though. That's not what I expected at all. That sucks. I need you guys to tell me why I should choose you. Okay, organ boner and fucking windbreaker. Who we got? Head to head. Finish him. Well, like I said, I'm an upcoming rock band, so she'll get backstage pass to everything. Who doesn't want to live the rock star life? And also, she'll get a whole song about herself. Bev and all her friends get backstage passes. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, I guess. But is your band huge yet? No. <laughs> so fucking pretty empty em promise. Pretty empty promise, <laughs> yeah. Let me be honest, okay? I can't offer the finer things like him. Dude, that was a fucking low key shot at that guy. Yeah. I can't offer the finer things like him. Okay, well, he's kissed a girl, so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't offer you backstage passes. I'm sorry about that. But what I can offer you is a really meaningful connection we're gonna go on incredible dates multiple locations per evening we're not just going to dinner we're gonna go to dinner then somewhere else like look at the view or something Damn. think about how smart we are in the universe and like how big everything is but if you want backstage passes i understand i'd pick him too just fucking throwing shots at this guy <laughs> jesus i'm pretty sure she wants to be the famous one <laughs> so i'm gonna have to go with you man congratulations thank you Thank you. I just wanted Bev and Sam to know about my lifestyle before they actually dive into it. They can handle it, they can handle it. She would have been my rock star, she would have been on stage with me all the time. You're gonna be so disappointed. <laughs>
Oh my god, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I just kidding. saw it coming a mile I'm away. just kidding. It's great. You're cute. Hi, Bev. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you for picking me. Well, hey, well I didn't, but I'm glad that it was you. Was it fun to host? I was alright. And he's sad, dude. I feel bad. This is just so awkward. I know. Weird. I want them to be together still. They seem like a really nice Bev. My bestie picked my bag. <laughs> Stop! Want to get a dog? Um, if you're open to it. Do I'm you want to get a cat? Not I have really. a snake. Let him. What is going on? Let him fucking answer. You want to get a dog? He didn't even say anything. Do you want to get a cat? He didn't even say anything. I have a snake. No shit. My mom's gonna watch this. She is. Yeah. She's a really nice lady. You'll meet her later tonight. Uh, tonight. Yeah. After this. Show the commercial. <laughs> uh, too much, man. We get it. You're quirky. Oh, I fucking hated that. Yeah, I don't like him. <laughs> really? Do you like that? I don't dislike that. Are you okay. into it? Yeah. Then I'm supportive. Okay. But she is. She has. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing here? Who edited this? I thought this was called Bestie Picks Bay, not Exie Picks Bay. But I was fine with it. Good one. <laughs> Sam picked my bay. Final what did, thoughts. What, well, yeah. What did we think, Curtis? This video would be way more entertaining if Brian stayed for the whole thing. I bet you, I bet you, as a podcast, and each episode is six hours long. <laughs> it's so long, and he's just and he's lying the whole time. <laughs> yes. None of these guys hold a candle, to fucking Jonathan. Number one guy. Yeah, Jonathan. Jonathan is still the king. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I am um completely drained. Yeah, I got the drip. I'm drained. Okay. Out of ten, I'm gonna give it a fucking five. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give it a two. two. Really? Yeah. I mean, Brian kind of buffed it up a bit. He was fucking hilarious. Brian dude. definitely just went outside of the building after that and picked up a pigeon with his bare hands. Yeah. <laughs> and just, yeah, tied a leash around him. And he just went, he's mine. Sometimes I lie to him. <laughs> Sometimes I lie to pigeons. <laughs> Shout out 17. Thanks for making those videos. That was a blast. Do you to... really know how to keep them coming. <laughs> you keep this series going, too. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, fucking, I hope the ex and her get back together because I think they're meant for each other, <laughs> all right? And I don't like this Aaron guy, all right? Unless you're Aaron Carter, get out of my fucking ear. Yeah, be Aaron Carter. Be Aaron Carter. Why can't everyone just be Aaron Carter? We're Aaron Carter. We're both Aaron Carter. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck <are we> <laughs> yeah. What the? Oh, I farted. <laughs> 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 all right, uh, fucking <laughs> ew. <laughs> oh yeah, now that I got this shit smell on my nose. Oh my god. <laughs> god, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let us know if you want to see a fucking part four, I guess. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it, because one like equals one fart from Dean's <laughs> little asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yes, finally! We're bad at this today. Don't forget to press the subscribe button, because I make a video every single week, and they're so much fun. Yep. And you'll get an extra greeting at the beginning, so there's no reason not to press the fucking button. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Sorry. I want to let him know. Oh, yeah, you can follow Dean on Instagram, I guess. Uh, he has a podcast. <laughs> Check the description uh, of my social media. You know, Instagram, Twitter, my podcast, all that shit. Curtis Town merch, you can get it. Tickets to see me uh, on tour with Danny and Drew. Dean won't be there, but I'll be there. Um, sorry. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We got to go kiss a girl for the first time. Yeah, bye. Hey there, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more from me, there's some videos on screen that you can click and watch and don't forget to press that subscribe button all right see you next week <laughs> 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 okay so can you rewind it a little bit